I'm wearing my drying hat again. Do I look silly? So I cut off my overalls, my regular overalls, because they had holes in them. And then God came down from heaven and told me, Angel, you should paint those overalls. So I'm gonna try it. Who dares me to try it? Should I try painting my overalls? Dare me? <laughs> Dare me, I'm so excited. Okay, so I've decided to try to paint my overalls. Now the paints I have are actually acrylic markers, so I have no idea how this is gonna work. No idea. And I put a bag down there, even though they are acrylic markers, they're not gonna be that messy. But since I'm involved, I'm anticipating that some sort of mess is possible. So I just read that it could be a good idea to paint white first. And I also read that it's a good idea to water down actual acrylic paint if you're using actual paint because it won't dry as thick. So I've got some, some regular white acrylic paint and I'm just going to add some water and stir it up. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just going to make white outlines of the things that I think I want. Of course, there's going to be a huge rainbow involved be like a sun coming up over the rainbow. I love this cat so much. He's always so involved in what I'm doing. I think this is gonna be like a peace sign. Pack it all white and then I made the heart. I don't know what should I put here? Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. I just decided to make like another rainbow on this side there and so this is what it's gonna look like so far and I now just have to wait a while and let it dry. I brought the fan in to help it dry. So now I just get to sit around and wait with eager anticipation. Now some of it is dry, so I'm starting to color in some of the parts. Some of the parts are not dry and the marker won't really work on that. So I'm starting with the parts that are dry. I am really enjoying this. I feel like it's gonna be a matter of like painting it, adding the color, letting it dry, adding another layer, add, letting it dry more, adding another layer to make sure that the paint gets like so that you can actually see it. But it is rather satisfying, isn't it? Maybe, I don't know if next time it would be better to just use it, like acrylic paints and a paintbrush. I don't know. This is working out well, pretty well. The card is still wet for some reason, so I'm just going to try going over the rest of it a little to make it brighter while I wait for this part to dry. It feels like this, this it feels like the second layer is a lot easier because the paint isn't being absorbed as quickly by the fabric. Color, 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 color. I feel like this is going to be the most difficult part for some reason, but I'm ready to start it. I'm using my dark purple for the rainbow. Where did it go? I'm not talking about this purple. I'm talking about my darker purple. Where is it? Found it. When a person with ADHD does a project, they hit a certain threshold where it's like, okay, I'm ready for this to be done. And I'm kind of at that threshold right now. So for now, this seems pretty well, pretty nice. I think I'm gonna try these on. You guys can tell me what you think. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? I think they're cool. What do you guys think? Does it need anything more? I don't know, I kinda like them. I kinda like them. <laughs> it sorta looks like something Pippi Longstocking would wear. <laughs>